Hello, uh, my name's Ian. I'm a pre-sales engineer for iGel, um, working out of the UK. Um, and I'm here in my home lab today, uh, and I wanted to show you something we've been working on recently around using the Microsoft Linux Teams client uh, built into the iGel OS, or sorry, installed into the iGel OS. Um, obviously, iGel OS is based on Linux, which means we can take some of the existing Linux softwares and clients that are out there and push it down to our devices to run them locally. And Teams is something that's you know quite timely at the moment there's lots of people looking to use teams and using teams for the first times and what we found is that sometimes people are having some issues with using that software uh, inside a vdi environment so obviously a lot of our devices point to vdi so we wanted to see if there was something we could do to help that so we've been working on using the uh, preview version of the linux teams client from microsoft pushing it out to our devices and giving some of that functionality back um, and with the added advantage that because it's locally installed we get full frame rate camera resolution um, audio is, is working beautifully um, it just takes away some of the hiccups and things that you may have to to, to work and iron out to get it into vdi so uh, if you need to speedily deploy teams we can push it out to our devices incredibly quickly so i'm going to show you what that looks like let me just get the right screen up. Okay, so uh, this is the UMS, our management console, and I've got this laptop that's beside me here with our iGel OS running on it. Um, it's an old um, Intel uh, Centrino ThinkPad, uh, so it's quite an old piece of kit. It's probably eight years old or so, but it runs our OS really well. Um, and I've got this uh, it attached to my UMS here, and I've pushed down some profiles to configure it to uh, pull down the Teams client, install it locally. And, and configured to connect to a WVD connection in this instance, but it could be any VDI provider, it doesn't really matter at this point. So we're going to shadow onto that box. So this is effectively creating a VNC connection down to that, that device, uh, so you can see the screen. So here it is, this is what the Agile OS looks like in sort of clean state. Um, I've done a bit of tweaking of the user interface to move the start menu over to the right hand side of the screen, um, so we can uh, maximize the session. And uh, so here is a uh, a Microsoft WVD session that's running um, through the, the standard um, RD core client that Microsoft provide for Linux. Um, and I can be working away in this, uh, you know, with a, uh, doing whatever applications or whatever things I need to do within the session. Um, but I also have a Teams client installed on the local OS. Here is a Teams client. Um, it's, it's fully fledged. It has everything. It has all the standard feature set you'd expect from Teams. Uh, but on Linux, which is great. So I can have access to my files. I can go and grab, you know, um, my mileage form for April, which is nothing on it. But I could I could edit that file. I can grab and open that file and edit it like I'm using Office 365. So, you know, it's the same kind of functionality um, as you'd get anywhere else. So it's great. Um, as you see, there's no miles in there at all. Uh, I've got all my chat capability. Um, on all my calling capabilities. Um, there's even possibility Zoom integration, which I need to have a look at, but um, it's you know, we have a Zoom client for Agile OS as well. So I don't know if these two talk together yet, but we're working on these things you know, as we go. Um, just to show you what it looks like, um, I have uh, settings here. I can look at the devices. So you can see here that I've got um, uh, speakers connected. I've got a webcam connected and I'm using those. Uh, and I'm going to just call my, my colleagues here just to show you the functionality of what it looks like. So this is full Teams, camera, audio, it's all there. Um, frame rate is really good. Um, obviously, being, uh, being you know, uh, on a VNC. Hi, Steve. Uh, so being on a, on a VNC session, the frame rate looks a little bit funky because um, you're seeing it through a, a VNC session rather than locally. But on the actual device I'm looking at here, it, the frame rate is exactly as you'd expect with any other Teams client anyway. So uh, yeah, um, he can hear me. I can also do things like screen sharing. So there's a screen sharing capability down here. I can use that to share uh, a particular application maybe that's a, that's um, or document that's in my, my file section of Teams, uh, or I can share the screen itself of the actual IGEL operating system down there. Uh, yeah, thanks, Steve. Cheers. Can you give me a call in a minute? So just so you can see what it looks like now, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to close the teams down, go into my session here, and have um, be doing something in in the session. Uh, and when Steve gives me a call back, you'll see that because we have the toolbar on the right hand side of the screen, I get notifications on here from him, so I can answer that in my session. Uh, you can hear obviously probably the microphone in the background. And there we are, we're connected. Cheers, Steve.
So we get, uh, yeah, he's in his home lab there, obviously using Teams as well. Uh, so that's, you know, we all use Teams at iGel, so it's uh, it's a neat thing for us. And uh, it's just really cool functionality. Um, and it has takes away a lot of those headaches that we've possibly got with pushing it out with VDI. At least it's an interim solution until we get full functionality in the required platforms that we're talking about. But yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to show you today. So thanks for, thanks for watching.